gonna dust you off, buddy. How's it going, Craig? All right. Are you ready? Uh, just double checking things. Da, da, da. Yeah. To be fair, I'm not sure if I have my macro set right. So if the audio recording on my end is shit, uh, I will be doing a raw uh, save because, of course, I am. Right. So just let me know, and I'll re-render it. Okay. Because I don't have my notes, because there's... Actually, hang on, they might be in the Dropbox, but... Yeah, I'm kind of trying to set things up uh, fairly quickly. Right. Right, you got a desk? Yep. Yep, uh, down on the little monitor. Even though... Hey. The, the little monitor, but it's 1080p. Which, yeah. My things a little so crisp. The, the little monitor that could. Actually, that would be good. Does. It it's like a fourteen inch monitor, right? Yeah, ten eighty p on a fourteen inch monitor would be really crisp because it's not trying to you know blow up and fill up so much screen. Even, though, even though the default settings have like a, a zoom in feature on it, so it's like ten eighty p, but it acts like it's seven twenty. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Really, I mean, I know why they do that because most people who buy those computers probably don't know. But it, it, like, whenever I, if a screen is too small for me to see, like the stuff on it, I'll just go in and change the resolution down to 720p or whatever, you know, and then that makes everything yeah. scale up. But anyways, okay, I think that's going to be a little bit more stable. Yeah, I, I was on the power cable. Uh, things are. Hodgepodge together. Uh, uh, the forbidden zone is in a terrible, terrible state. My old computer is still strewn across the the uh, the entire place. Right. The only time I use a screen zoom is when I've got a, a computer plugged into a TV because you want to be able to zoom in on stuff on the desktop, but not have a, a non-native resolution for your TV. That way, you can get uh, the best visuals for watching whatever or playing whatever well what's kind of nice is uh at least the default settings on the touchpad it has a, a pinch to zoom on it by default so if i'm reading something it's a little too small instead of uh, having to uh, fiddle with a zoom feature just pinch yeah i've never owned a laptop or a desktop monitor that's that's touch screen um well, well this isn't touch screen this is just the touch uh, the touch pad oh okay i i misheard you then come on this is a a a, a, a little uh cheap ass uh notebook uh notebook okay. laptop uh yeah so it's not exactly gonna be you know a touch screen and everything else that's enough to get me going and or i should say get me going again and uh be good enough for my needs uh for mobile uh, computing, probably be some Steam streaming. Um, we'll probably be using it to set up the podcast uh, for from now on. And who knows? It might be a recording station, and just leave the primary computer for uh, notes and that sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know. I, I need to figure that one out. But of course, uh, probably uh, uh, this autumn after the main computers. Uh, settled, and I'm sure it's not going to dial me suddenly again. Which my, may or may not have been part of my uh, the messing around inside of it. Actually, I'm not 100% sure what happened with that still. I'll crack this open and upgrade the hard drive. Or add another hard drive, I should say. Yay. And of course, upgrade the RAM, because that's been really the deciding factor on a lot of shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, you you could just download more RAM. Hey. Oh, you wouldn't just download a RAM, would you? <laughs> you wouldn't just download. You wouldn't download a car. You bet your sweet ass, I would if I could. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to pay the insurance on it. Probably and, not. And, yeah, but then again, you are having your midlife crisis. Yep, yep. The apparently, I just the last couple of of weeks, I've been like, man, remember that thing? Just like in a variety of things. It's like you you have disposable income. You should buy that now. I'm like, but why? Your your office is going to look like Jim Sterling's lectern. 
<laughs> Maybe. But, Including the wig. Oh, definitely. But, yeah, I just keep thinking, like, I should buy that. And then I go, eh, no, I shouldn't. And it's, like, stupid stuff. It's not even, like, anything that might be considered collectible okay, okay, or okay. good. Define what, uh, what we're talking about, because are we talking about toys? Are we talking about old games? Uh, the, the thing that I looked at today and thought about buying and decided not to was the, the Zune, the Microsoft Zune. <laughs> yeah, I had, I bought one of those way back when, in like the mid 2000s or whenever they came out. I guess I got mine in like the I think you're one of the few people that actually think about the Zune. I know. I, I, what it, what it is, is that, I mean, I have always hated Apple products, like the I, you know, universe of products. Like Apple fine they're just they're not for me they never have been and when microsoft was like we're gonna do an mp3 player to compete with the ipod i'm like yeah that sounds awesome i'll buy one and i did and i mean i remember it being fine it's completely dead now 100 percent unsupported microsoft washed their hands of it a few years ago like it never existed to them I don't. I if if I bought one, they're they're way overpriced. L- let me tell you that there's some kind of like shitty collectible whatever. But if I bought one, it would be a I'm hassle saying, to get I'm it running. Something because of course there is. Well, yeah, there's a subreddit for everything. So there's a, just a subreddit, but an active one. It looks like. Yeah. Interesting. So you know. But yeah, that's that's what I thought of today. Uh, according to this, well, uh, Microsoft Zune 30 gig model uh, that sold for 56 bucks. That's actually cheaper than what I thought it would be when you were talking about it. Oh, well, the ones that I was had looked at earlier were much more expensive, like hundred plus dollars for a used Zune and you know a box and a cable. Uh, what I'm looking at is, well, new in box is, you know, well over 100 to 200, but loose uh, 50 to 100, depending on the capacity, with some uh, looking like they go over 100, but... Hmm. I had I had the, like, the poo, the poo brown and pea green one. It was, like, brown, like, mushy... P. It's not like urine P, but it was like this weird brown oh, color. Food. Yeah, but it was like this weird brown color and and green. It had a green accent, and I think that was like one of the most popular colors. I don't know. I think I don't. I don't remember how much it cost. Two hundred fifty bucks or something like that. Brand new. I used it for several years. I still had it when we lived at our last place before we moved to this house, I still had it there right around the time. Like I, I was using it right up until the time they, they shut down the, the store and like the software was still supported, but you couldn't buy anything new on the store. It you could just like sync it and they stopped like putting like podcasts and stuff on there. Well, I'm sure that there's hacks around that or around uh, for some sort of third party uh, uh, syncing. Yeah. But anyways, that's that's what I was thinking about today. Um, I thought about other other stuff too, like toys that I had when I was when I was a kid, yeah, I, like I Jurassic had, Park stuff. Yeah. I I had to look to see what uh uh what it was, but I had a Sansa uh, MP3 player that I got refurbished a Sandisk. Mm-hmm. And I actually used it for quite a while for uh, uh, podcasting. Yeah, I had I had a Zune, and then before that, I had like a Sony Walkman MP3 player. Um, I don't think they like it was. It, it was just like you, you know, would put MP3s on an SD card and then plug it in, and it could read music off of that. They might have had like a special one, but I, I don't think that this was anything special. I'm on eBay now. Sony Walkman MP3. Maybe I should buy one of those. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this new? Can you buy a new Sony Walkman MP3 player? What? 
oh no, that's just like an ad for some for some other shit that's showing up at the top of the page. Sorry. I got very not excited, but like surprised. It's called an am am dizzy. Am dizzy. Am dizzy. Whatever. I like am dizzy. It's because the sound's so bad it makes you dizzy. Okay, so ah. there there are some really nice like touchscreen Sony Walkmans. I did not have one of those. So this is a thing. I was uh, looking on Reddit a little bit more to see if there was anything I missed. This is definitely not show material, but this is this is kind of up your alley and really my alley too. Okay, I'm going to send you a YouTube video. Okay, and I want your opinion, and we can watch it together for a little bonus content if you want. Golf Club Wasteland. No. No, I want to open it on YouTube. I'm at two seconds in. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, uh, three, two, one, go. So, Golf Club Wasteland. This is something I just saw randomly. And it's just... I, this is one thing I do appreciate on uh, the Switch, is them doing some weird, weird shit with sports games. Yeah. So, this is post-apocalyptic... I like how there's Kofefe there. I know where their politics are, and I support them. Oh, that's not the only one, because uh, later on there's a Bitcoin. (laughs) But it's just 2D golf, but humanity's been wiped out, and you're just uh, playing golf in the wasteland. There's an albino uh, giraffe in the background drinking out of a radar dish. Right? Yeah, it keeps flashing, like... I don't know, freeze frame stuff up on uh-huh. screen. There's the Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. Well, yep. Bitcoins. A, a hole in the toilet. But yeah, it, it's just fascinating, huh? Yeah. Albino squirrel. <laughs> Third world organic, huh? <laughs> in case of apocalypse, tell 1-800-HELP-US-GOD. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be one of those golf games, or one of these sports games that, uh, well, in this case, it is golf, but... Uh, that tells a lot deeper story than what you might expect going into it. Yes, absolutely. Because there's the thing that kept flashing up on screen for like a few yeah, frames. Yeah, not you that... or, right? Or you yeah. and all alone or something like that. It's just really interesting looking. Yeah. You're right. This is right up my alley. And it's on, it's a Switch exclusive or? Uh, I saw it on r slash, uh, uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's announced for the Switch, but I'm not sure what, what, how much it is. It looks like it's actually on Google Play for three bucks. So it's going to be ten bucks on the Switch. So, but they also said that the that the devs are going to upgrade and enhance the game for console and PC version. So PC and as well on Steam August 2021. Yeah, no price listed though. Uh, one of the uh, div- uh or publishers uh in the Reddit thread says it's ten bucks. Okay, which uh, three buck uh, mobile game, ten buck cons- or console slash PC tax seems acceptable if they enhance it and uh, yeah upgrade the graphics, right? Yeah, because that's kind oh, of the- that's that's a mountain of skulls, Jesus <laughs> or. I'm looking at the screenshots on Steam. Yeah, this is 100% up my alley. I will be uh, quite possibly buying and playing this. Or yeah, maybe I'll come to Game Pass. It's probably going to make me cry and give me a mm-hmm. strong sense of existential dread. Mm-hmm. That's okay, though. Uh, hey, uh, then you can at least go to the Kofefe. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All or right. There's a golf course for the ultra rich after human life has uh, been wiped out. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to have all sort of uh, political undertones and overtones. Yeah, it's going to wear its politics on its shirt sleeve, and I'm okay with that because video games are political. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, you you already said oh, you had up. Yeah. yeah, I was just looking at the uh, screenshots, and yeah, that's got to be fun, especially if it's as enhanced as they uh, claim it's going to be. Enhanced. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been uh, listening to uh, uh, SVU and uh, watching it with Anita. 
Been ruining it, by the way, so. Good job. Yeah, time to punch another suspect. It's been uh, <laughs> three episodes. By the way, I think I had what was called the Sony Walkman uh, Network Digital. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means or why that makes it special, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that I had. Well, because it's digital compared to all the analog uh, uh, Walkmans that they made uh, throughout the years. Yeah, the, like I, the ones with the tape. I know, but why call it the network digital? I can understand calling it the Sony Walkman digital, but why network digital? Because it was probably late uh, 90s, early 2000s, and network was the latest buzzword. Sort of I like how so. Millennium was uh, you know, around 2000. Millennium this, Millennium that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to close that. I'm done with my tangent for now. Uh, all right, ready to record, yes? Uh, I believe so. All right, ready to record in three, two, one, record. And for the sync, three, two, one, sync. Sync. Woo. Woo. Uh, as I, the tiger, starts playing. <laughs> I am the tiger. Um, I did not miss that. <laughs> have you heard Jonathan Young's new album, Starship Velociraptor? Uh, yeah, I have. His song, uh, Army of Tigers. I which doesn't sure sound was... anything at all like Eye of the Tiger, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I heard that one. I did add a couple to my primary playlist, including Starship Velociraptor. Yes. But let's just put it this way. I was, I was listening to that... Uh, cooking dinner. Anita came home and she just made a face of like, what the hell are you listening to? <laughs> because my quick critique of it is it sounds like Dragon Force got teleported back to the 80s and got obsessed with sci-fi instead of uh, fantasy. Yes. My my and they, favorite... And they, didn't ha- and they didn't have the technology to do the super fast drifts yet. <laughs> yeah. My three favorite songs on the album and they're all really close is Starship Velociraptor Glory or Gold and Best Band in the Universe <laughs> I love all I mean I, I like I do like the entire album Um, I feel like it ends a little weak uh, yeah. it, it definitely starts stronger than it ends in my opinion but I like the album overall but those are those are my three favorite that have made it into my uh, playlist for you know working out and doing stuff around the house or whatever. All right. That, that's my second tangent. Yeah, Over. let's see. Uh, I, oh, I, sorry. I actually added four to my uh, to my primary playlist. Gorier Glo- Gold, Army of Tigers, Starship Velociraptor, and Man the Cannons. Nice. The, uh, the other day, uh, I was making uh, lunch or dinner. I don't remember. My kid came in, and he was like, can we, can I ask Alexa to play us some music? Because we have our Alexa in, in the kitchen. Uh, and I was like, well, we yeah, we can listen to some music, but check this out. And, uh, you know, I said, play Starship Velociraptor. And he was like, what? There's a song called Starship Velociraptor? <laughs> it's great. Oh, and I found another uh, band that does pirate metal, by the way. That actually is pretty decent. Uh, in my mind, though, it sounds... Uh, and this might just be the fact that when I was little, uh, uh, the local TV stations played Papa a lot. It sounds like Bluto is singing it uh, from uh, Papa. Yeah, just... I, I've seen enough Popeye to know who you're talking about, but not enough mm-hmm. to like immediately like pull the voice down. You know. Mm-hmm. So you'll have to yeah. you have to give me a link so that I can listen to them later. Maybe when I wind down tonight, I'll listen to some music instead of... Uh, this is the one I have on my playlist. I still haven't gone through all their stuff yet. Hang on, I'm going to throw you a YouTube link. Uh, it has a fairly long intro. Okay. But they are on Prime Music because... Right? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, it's Huffman the Pirate King. <laughs> okay. Nice. I will have to check that out later. All right. Let's let's do this. Game face. Woo, game face. 
We did it. Yay. I'm, pressing, I'm pressing stop on my recording. I'm going to save this beast. And I'll get my side of things sent to you. Uh, oh, I cleared out all my stuff. I don't know what actual episode this is. Digital <laughs> podcasts or what episode number? 234. I'm calling, I'm titling this episode Thick Mermaid. They're going to have to wait. <laughs> They're going to have to wait till the very end to know what I'm talking about with the Thick Mermaid. But it's, <laughs> it's my show, damn it. I'll call it what I want. <laughs> yeah, she'd be very thick. It, no, it's been funny. Um, I have been advertised my own mermaid <laughs> for Redbubble on other sites. Yeah, I like I like I like the thick mermaid. If you I don't I don't know if you had thought about it or I mean you don't need my permission cuz they're your like artistic works, but the stuff that you made for me, if you feel like that's, you know, you want to put that up, go for it. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. Like any anything that you make for me as we continue to go along, like that's your creation. Like you have the rights to do what you want with it. So, I don't I don't ever want to stifle you know, a person's creativity <laughs> I will and their ability to do what they want with it. Yeah. E. I'll keep it in mind. All right. Uh, I just saved that. I don't need to save it again. What am I doing? All right. And then I'm going to close that and I will edit that mess tomorrow. Yeah. I'll try to get the, my side of things sent to you before tomorrow. Oh, you're good. Yes. I mean, I have until Friday to get it edited and posted. I mean, you know, I don't want to edit it Friday morning. <laughs> but, I, you know, there's plenty of days between now and then. Yeah. I just know that if I don't try to get it done soon, it, it's probably going to be sent to you last minute, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I get that. Um, what, uh, speaking of, like, art and stuff, what do I, you need from me for that Battletech related commission. Like I know we've talked about it once or twice, but it's been like Yeah. I don't know, it, three it three been. weeks. I'm not it like trying been. to rush you. I just want to make sure there's not something I was supposed to do and then I forgot. No, you're good. I um am going to be working on that this week for sure. And get that to you hopefully pretty soon. Cool beans. I'd be lying if the mech didn't intimidate me ever so slightly. <laughs> You'll do great. I yeah. have faith in you. I You're a good artist. A, I, I do need a reminder as to what the color palette for the mech is, though. Uh Oh, shit. Did I put it in that document? You put a bunch of different mechs, and there's a variety of color palettes, so I just... So the mechs were all for, like, design references, because it's all the same mech just like different takes on that mech from over the years so that you have a bunch of stuff to work with mm -hmm. for the design uh where's my because and then i know that there's that document so I'm, I'm going to look at that to see if i put it in there yeah and i'm still not seeing the description for the character anywhere just the photos still so okay so you need Description for the characters. So I got a I got a decent bit for the the face with the pictures you sent, but I don't know what he should be wearing. How do you spell palette? As in like color palette? Um, P A L L E T. No, P A L E T T E. Okay. All right, so that's to mostly serve as a reminder for me on on Discord, but it's like right there where I could type it. So I sent you a message. <laughs> okay, it's a um, reminder for me. And then for a quick refresher, you were wanting what full body, like the entire mech, as well as the person inside of it. Yeah. Okay. Or the person yeah. like on top of it, or in front of it, or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm not I'm not getting the description. I just have the description for character and how he differs from the photo of Mech and then nothing else. And color and color palette for the Mac? Did that not come through? Nope. 
Yeah. Weird. Wah, wah. Yeah. No, I'm going to be avoiding my parents all this week. So I will have plenty of time to work on the piece. Yeah. And tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm going to go drink some hot tea and then probably go to bed after we get get off of here. But tomorrow, in the morning, I don't have any client sessions until 11. So that's probably when I will do this for you, description-wise. Okie dokie. Sounds good. All right. I'm going to put Craig to bed so I don't forget. 